Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Battletech, the campaign. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 42. We have some work on the Highlanders. We picked that really nice one up at the end of the last episode. And so what I did was went <coughs> through the process of getting it upgraded. We're going to see what it looks like on the other side. Both of these Highlanders, pretty nice machines. Mess with their paint jobs on the way there. But anyway, there's, there's seven days and... and 12 days worth of work 12 days before we get that Highlander and we're in a position where we don't have any jobs so let's take a look at where we're at and where we can go for some jobs if we want to do some nice work there's a black market here <coughs> this has three skull challenge this has three skull challenge what's this here this has half this has oh four skull challenge Ooh, very nice. We should be able to do that pretty easy. Anything there or here. What, what's our date? Travel time, 41 days. Travel time there is restricted. Okay. And down here, what are we at? Three skulls, 27 days. I want the shortest one I can get to. 22 days for three skulls. Let's go there. It's got a black market. So we're going to fly out there. Uh. I think the only thing I'd like to have now that we don't have is the Atlas II. We don't have one of those. I'd like to replace the Banshee that's carrying all the weapons with one of those really nice Atlas machines. The Atlas Mark II. <clears throat> so we'll go see if we can't do some missions. We're, waiting. We're, we're geared up enough now to do the story missions. We can just plow through the campaign and go and then after this campaign is over it's a question of do we keep playing and do some of the flashpoints looking for the heavy metal flashpoint which will which will pit you in an epic battle at the end between uh, the black widow and the bounty hunter <clears throat> And so that's that would be the reason to keep playing after the campaign. It's a little bit disappointing to me that the flashpoint missions don't show up in the middle of the campaign. You have to wait till the campaign's over. But they're like mini campaigns anyway, so it still makes it kind of fun to play. I'm doing a career mode right now, which has been really entertaining. Last night I finally just got one of my... I got the first heavy mech for my group. And uh, for my, I, I got a Thunderbolt, the thing I was saying a few episodes ago that I've never been able to get in any of my playthroughs and make use of it because by the time I get it, I don't need it. Well, I was playing my career mode late last night before bed and I got a Thunderbolt. It was the first, it was the first heavy mech that I got and it's pretty awesome. So here we have the Stalker's always going to be part of our arsenal now. And he's got more than enough ammo to keep up. We got the Banshee with the weapons who has a PPC. And uh, <clears throat> we got this Zeus who's got a Gauss rifle. We got a Marauder who has the Autocannon 20 for shooting stuff in the head. And we have this Highlander. The Highlander is... I'd like him to actually have the nice Gauss rifle. So we're going to go to the store real quick and take a look at their black market because I want to see if they have any unique Gauss rifles. They don't. They've got a PPC that's a plus plus. I'd like to pick that up and put that on somebody. They've got an extended range medium laser for plus plus. Ooh, I'd like to buy that too. It's a million bucks. Let's buy that though. We can put that on somebody. There's two of them. <clears throat> we can sell things that we don't need. Uh, we've got a lot of this stuff that we don't need. Now, this is one of the interesting things about playing career mode is you don't want to just sell these mechs willy-nilly. You have to actually hold on to one of each because it ups your score. And the whole point of playing career mode is to try to get a max score by 1,200 days. So here I am with all these. I'm 100 days in, and I have all these mechs. Oh, no, it's an Orion that I got first. I have pieces for a Thunderbolt. That's correct. It's an Orion I got first. And I 
in my career mode and I put <laughs> I put an AC20 on the Orion and right away it's just mowing stuff down which is really awesome but no I have two pieces to a Thunderbolt so it's probably going to be my next this is the story I wanted to tell I got two pieces to a Thunderbolt and then I did one of those missions where uh, I did one of those missions where you go train the rookies the B team and I had two urban mechs with me and we ran into a thunderbolt and they took it down they took it down which was completely awesome they took down these urban mechs managed to survive and we took down this thunderbolt and i thought all i need is the one piece on the thunderbolt to put together a thunderbolt and for the first time be able to use it it'll be my first heavy mech i didn't have the i didn't have the orion yet and it was the wrong thunderbolt <laughs> piece so now i have two of one and one of another and i still don't have a thunderbolt and i was like oh okay ambush a convoy i don't want to mess with, i ambush a convoy i don't want to mess with that destroy base bug hunt is an assassination attempt so this is going to be that's going to be nice it's eight hundred thousand, and that should and there's another assassination attempt this is I'd like to eliminate a notorious killer for hire it goes by the name of the professional they're currently under contract with the pirates and they've been spotted here on Pyrus, which is extremely concerning for our interest. The mercenary is cagey and cautious and will attempt to escape at any indication that they're overmatched. I'd like you to land a low tonnage lance to engage them, to give them a false sense of security, and then eliminate them before they escape. We're prepared to offer you very generous salvage terms. I, yeah, I know what they want. Yeah, and they want us to send a low tonnage mat. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> That's not going to happen. This one's different. We're, we'll just send a, a heavy mech set after them. We need an immediate deployment. Pursue a Torian terrorist for months. They've gone to ground. But earlier today, one of our orbital units spotted them moving on the surface. This is the first verified sighting we've had of the target. And we want you to bring them down immediately before they're able to slip away. It sounds like in both of these... It sounds like in both of these, they're going to run. So... <clears throat> We could take some pretty generous salvage terms. Um, I'm going to take 624 for 255 just in case we get two full mix from headshots. We're going to take our headshot expert. Um, we're going to take, let's see, which one is the good one? 732. Yes, the 732B has the Gauss rifle. We're going to take that. And then instead of the stalker, we're going to take our marauder. Uh, she's not going to have any. We need our best person. Who's our best person? Glitch. Glitch, honey. You're in the Marauder. You are going to zap the heck out of that thing. I don't think heat's going to be an issue. We're in the Badlands, which makes heat a little bit of a problem. <clears throat> so there could be the potential for a problem there. Uh, what do we have? Slice, you're on the Banshee with the weapons. That makes all the sense in the world uh, we're gonna put the paladin on the really nice highlander and uh, can you need more experience let's put you on the Zeus this should work let's go see if we can do this let's go see if we can hunt down a, and assassinate this person I do want to try the other assassination mission as well they want us to drop with a, a light line. So there's here's the problem is that that gives us some information, but it still doesn't give us enough intelligence. It doesn't tell us exactly how many tons they'd like us to drop with to, to make sure that the guy doesn't run. So of course, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna drop with the heavy thing. You know, I think the thing to do on that mission actually might be to send a Phoenix in and to use our stalker with the LRMs and make sure that the Phoenix can see it and then the LRMs can knock it down. That might be the best plan. Let's see if we can remember. Let's see if my foggy old memory can remember that plan by the time we get to that mission. Blind on the ground. I've got an engine signature. Best I can do, boss. What is that? That looks like a big critter. Okay, that is a big, neat critter. I don't, it's not an atlas, but it's something big and bad. Okay. Well, let's go. There's water. <laughs> Everybody right now is immediately, of course, thinking of alien. We know what this is. This is um, this is this funky water thing out here where you get trapped. 
Um, Because you're thinking, oh, there's water. And yeah, there is. But then you kind of get trapped by the geography of it. Um, Let's go this way. The water's nice, but I don't want to get trapped by the geography. I've been over there twice, and it never turns out really well. It never turns out as well as I would like it. Oh, and now we have ambushers. See, and they're over here, right along the edge. This is in the water. That's in the water, and that's what we tried to do last time, was go up around that edge, and then we got... We got hurt, so... That was a long time ago when we had blackjacks. <laughs> a long, long time ago when we had blackjacks. All right, how far up can you go? On my way. On my way. All right, we don't want to get too far out ahead of our friend here. We got something on sensors. What do we have? All kinds of mechs. I wish that screen up here wouldn't flicker. It sure is different playing the career mode at the beginning of the game when all you got is a couple of medium mechs and a couple of light mechs and you see 50 ton mechs show up and you're like, oh no. Even just one of them makes you go, oh, this is going to be hard. <laughs> and then last night when, when I was playing my career mode and, I, and that, that, mission, for that mission with the uh, rookies, with the you? B team, I gotta reserve. It, it, with the B team was so funny because there were just light mechs. There were four light mechs. And we took them all out and everybody was fine. And I'm like, great. And then the dropship comes and drops this Orion with a, with a, one, a light mech assistant, I think. No, no, he dropped it with a blackjack, actually. And I'm looking at two urban mechs. No, he didn't drop it with a blackjack. He just dropped the Thunderbolt. That's right. He dropped a Thunderbolt and he dropped nothing else, just the Thunderbolt. Because I had the two urban mech. That's right. Ready to get it on. Gosh, and I just... I remember thinking, oh man, we're so dead. We are so dead. And I, I was thinking... My first immediate thought was, well, they dropped him right between us and the exit zone. And I thought, okay, we're just I'm just going to get these urban mechs to the end so we can get our payday. And we're just going to skirt around it and get... But he made really good speed getting to us. And uh, next thing I know, man, he was, he was so close. And I thought, well, what the heck... That, they die, they die, and I don't get paid. Okay, we'll try it anyways. It would be really great to have a, a piece of Thunderbolt and finish the one that we had in uh, space, but it was not to be. Okay, Banshee with weapons. You're the one who kind of needs to be out in front here. What can you see? A Vindicator, which you should be able to pop pretty easy. Now, 70% for your auto cannon is not something I want to do. So because we only have 10 rounds. So we want to make sure we use that on big dudes. So we got that. We have Glitch, who's going to come out of here and try to stay out of trouble. She's got the Marauder. She's just going to PPC him. We don't care about even trying to headshot with him, and we got to spend a turn Stop gaining resolve, down. anyways. Uh, what do we want to do with you? What happens if I do this? This is going to get put me in a good position to shoot at these guys next turn. All right, here you go. As a person who has spent many hours in a vindicator. In the low I levels of the game, good. I'm telling Go you, time. they're not that tough. <laughs> All right, so we got a bunch of medium mechs. Barely a hit, Commander. A bunch of medium mechs and something else. And these are right now what, the reason it's paused is because the, the reinforcements are moving out across that water. Oh, and there's a hunchback. And he's the big dude. He's got the auto cannon. I tell you, the only time I would use a hunchback is if I if I somehow lucked into one early in the game. And what I would do is if I had that auto cannon one, I'd use it until I didn't have 
until I had better mechs, because that would be pretty awesome. That's basically what my uh, Orion is in my career mode. I put an auto cannon twenty on it and then gave it an LRM ten and said that's all you need. <laughs> and he just wanders around now on these two skull missions trying to blow stuff up. Okay, glitch reserve. Standing by. Let's see what we have. We have the Vindicator. Okay, we're gonna get some resolve. Who do we want to try to headshot? The Hunchback, probably. Um, Zeus is here. Can she headshot and get it? If she goes right there and stays in the woods, what are you? She's not quite... She might have a pretty good shot to headshot this guy. Let's try it. If we do this, and we call headshot at 35%, and we say, hit him. She got his leg. She hit him in the chest. Ready for order. So the Banshee is going to go over here and take... He's going to take a pounding, really. Unless I do something like this. Okay, he also has his big boy. He has a lot less of a chance of hitting with it. But 75%, it's, it's three quarters of a chance to hit something with it. I hate wasting those. I hate wasting those shots and not getting anything out of it. That drives me nuts. Heading out. Okay, well. Firing full complement on the That's too bad because that AC twenty would have hit that guy and Instead, it missed him. Three out of four times it's supposed to hit him. And that was the one time. I'm going to get the miss. Okay, what if we do this? This highlight. I don't want him taking extra shots from that guy. Is the thing. So if I move him over here. These guys can't move around much to get evasion. But what they can do is shoot this guy and kill him and shoot, take some off of him. You're going to put the Gauss rifle on him. You're going to put your shots on him. Roger that. There we go. That's what I like to see. The preservation of my mechs is the most important thing, especially in career mode. Boy, <coughs> you're trying your hardest to get as many mech pieces as possible, but, but a lot of times... Going for the legs is not in your best interest because you don't have enough time. You have to preserve your mechs. You have to try and get as many missions done in a system as you can. You'd like to clean every system out of all the missions it offers before you move on to the next one. So you're always trying to save the toughest mission for last in case anybody gets hurt. That way you can do repairs while you're moving. And you're also trying to just survive every mission. So if there's five or six missions in a system, you're like... I gotta do this, 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 and this, and this, and not get hurt. Some big stuff coming up, my Zeus. I knew there was gonna be. Those look like marauders. Wow. How many PPCs is that? Okay, Zeus, you're gonna need to move. Reporting. I know, they're taking really good shots at you. Here comes the Phoenix Hawk. Huh? He's a little hot. He might get a little hotter after firing both of those. How hot is he now? Still not maxed out. What is shooting all of those? A blackjack? Probably. Alright, glitch. Glitch or redo, you have a chance to shoot this phoenix in the face. Because I want to keep you protected because you're the at least... Oh, you don't have a really good shot to hit that one, do you? Even if you go precise strike, because it's 35%, but it's 60% to hit him. Can you just core him out? I don't even know if that's the best choice here. 60%. Hmm. Okay, she at least hit him. Do some damage. 
Yeah, that's a nice group over there. Ken Lee, you must move. Because they are shooting at you, buddy. He still doesn't have good to hit on him, does he? Well, 55% to hit with the Gauss rifle is not good enough to waste a shot on that. Because I can already tell you with what's shooting at us from the reinforcements, this is going to be longer than 20 turns. Longer than 20 rounds. How's it going? So. Let's go over here and see what there is. With Zibanchi, and he says, I've got a blackjack. Yeah, we knew it was a blackjack. He has, we could split some of this off. Because he's going to be covered and <coughs> guarded. Um, Ken doesn't have breaching shots, so it doesn't matter. So why don't you just do this, fire everything at him. Here you go. Yeah, that damage reduction makes Stay my AC-20 not as awesome as it should be. Do this. I'm gonna scoot forward a little bit. I've got a Gauss rifle that can totally plow this guy. And you don't have breaching shot either, do you, Paladin? You don't? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Let's do this. Acknowledge. He's got reach and shot. Alright. Oh, and he's knocked down. Great. I know from playing the blackjack a lot at lower levels, it's not <coughs> as tough as you might think it is. The Vindicator says, I will arrive. I am sneak attacking. And, my ba and now he's hot. Yeah. And now the Highlander is going to get the long range stuff. Oh, right in my right arm. Not where I want it to be. That's where our Gauss rifle sits. Oh my goodness. So, auto cannons and a PPC. There are some heavies over there. Oh my gosh, leave my right arm alone. I lose that Gauss rifle, I'm gonna be PO'd. We're gonna have to move him around. Oh, and now they're going to shoot my brother. Yeah. We're going to have to back up. We're going to have to slowly back up. So these guys can't see us and we can kind of fight them one at a time. Glitch reserve. Let the old blackjack get up. I will shoot you, Banshee, with weapons. Yes, I know. Not much armor left at that location. Oh, oh, not much left in his location. It's like, I got a machine gun and a little laser. They look great, but they just can't carry a lot of armament. They're very mobile. Yes, Commander. Okay, what can we do with you? If we scoot you backward... Oh, yeah, you can scoot really well, too, can't you? Okay, so... You got low chance to hit him with anything. You got LRMs that can hit him, and you've got nothing that can hit him. Man. Nobody's got a good chance with the auto cannon. Um, so let's do this. Let's shoot the PPC at this guy and the, let's take this off. PPC at that guy, LRMs at B. That's nice and it knocks him down. And now their assaults are going to move against us. Order. The Zeus, who we do not want to take no problem. On my damage. Way. As badass as he is, he can't handle a whole lot of damage. 85% on the LRM to hit that, and he's got a Gauss rifle shot for 80% on that. So that makes sense. He's not going to generate a lot of heat, so we'll throw in the extra medium laser to try and finish that thing off. Right arm destroyed, that's his PPC, so that's good. He's effectively neutered. During my career game last night, I did neuter a uh, 
blackjack. I shot both its arms off, and that's where all its weapons were. So it was like, oh, how convenient. Paladin, there. if you back up to right there. Onward. Yep. And then what can we do with you? This guy's still really hard to hit right now. You can finish him off. And you can finish him off, probably. Um, this guy for sure, though. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just finish it. Do you think you need all those weapons? Well, you're going to disappoint yourself if you don't use them all. Here's the thing. I don't think I need all those weapons. I'm guessing. Confirm. Okay, I did need all those weapons. But Glitch may be able to finish this thing off. I hear ya. She can't get what? If she goes like this, there we go. That's what I want. Moving out. It's gonna make it a little vulnerable to that Phoenix, but he doesn't have much work. She's got an AC cannon to finish him off, or she can. Yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. Doink, doink. A B. Uh huh. There we go. That Vindicator is still up. That's amazing. And now my Marauder is going to get shot out. I knew that was going to be a risk. We'll get her out of there. She sure looks great, though. Yep. Miss me. Now you got to kiss me. If only it could hit its own guy. Hit that phoenix. Mmm. Nice <laughs> More coming. Oh, and that's... That's no good. Get her out of there. Get her out of there. Oh, and he's going to shoot at the Zeus. Yeah, he knows the real threat. It's like that, that darn gauss rifle. Barely hit, Commander. It's just wicked. Okay, I need you to move, so out of the way. You gotta be able to turn. Okay, don't waste your auto cannon on this guy. Just core him out. We don't care about him. There we go. We just don't want him to get back up and start shooting again gotcha. with anything. Okay. Who's got the big banshee? You do. Okay, we're all gonna move like this. We're gonna kill this thing. You got a really good chance to kill it. You hear me? Take your PPC off and just kill this thing. Uh, almost. You've got all the Gauss rifle uh, shots. Copy. Shoot it. Roger that. There we go. Okay. So now they can't see us, which is great. And that's the way we do. So they can't see us at all. So here's the thing. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to sprint back down and go back down to the water because this is a hot planet. And now that four of them are taken <coughs> away... We have a much better shot of using that geography in that water area. See, they're going to come try to get us. And it's like, hey, we're going to run down into the water and play down there. we got a medium mix somewhere. Right there, 50 tonner. Because all my guys are hot, so sprinting will be good. And there's another 50, 50, 55. He's going to jump. I didn't get to see what he was. Good to go. Okay, glitch. Hold on. Reserve. And I don't mind walking, sprinting the way, and turning around and shooting them down from there, as long as we keep working our Got way down towards the water. So if we do that, Commander. There we go. You turn facing the banshee. That's good. Because he'll be the one to get shot Waiting at. She can sprint a pretty darn good way. 
what is it four and four there's four and if she goes there if she goes there all right go there um, yeah sprint down here Highlander other option is get up there and shoot that guy, but I don't really want to do that. I want these guys to follow me down here, so I'm going to stick with my plan. That means he's going to be out of range to really shoot. He's going to have to rely on any LRMs he has. And there's another 50-tonner, so... Lots of 50s running around. Let's see. And here's a griffin. And he says, ah, I come up through this little draw and I can see you. That's great, because we're going to keep running. We're going to get down into the water. We're going to force you to come after us. Which, yeah, stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. There you go. And the big dude is still coming. Okay. Stick to the plan. Here's the thing. You can get down here. You could, yeah, you could shoot LRMs at him. This is true. Um, I'm not as concerned about that as I am with getting everybody Double down time. here. Let's go. Orders. I will be done. Because if we're down here in the water, Primitive. then we can fight a little Ready. harder. Okay. Next round. I said this was going to be longer than 20 rounds. I think I'm going to be right. But that doesn't mean 20 rounds of fighting. We're adding a lot of rounds of movement here. The Griffin's going to use his jetpack probably to jump up here now. He's already really hot. So if he jumps up with the jetpack, he probably can't shoot his PPC. And if he did, he'd probably be overheated from it. Yeah, so he decides not to jump, which is fantastic. Hand. So she can move even further down in here. Pedal to the metal. We can get ourselves in a really good position for an extended bout of fighting. Which I'm really going to like. Up, here we go. Ken, you're going to be out in the water. It's going to be fantastic. I told you to pack your swim trunks, didn't I? Okay. On my way. Double time. And if these guys don't want to come over the hill and engage us while we're down in the water, if they decide they want to go out this, this bridge of rock out here that we ran into before, or come around this way, we'll be in the water all the way. Here he goes. He gets a turn not to be hot. So now he can jump. And that's great because he jumped up. Heavy hits, man. So all we have to do is plow him. If we shoot him and kill him... It removes everybody else. Good to go. Glitch reserve. It removes everybody else from play. They won't be able to shoot our LRMs because we'll kill this guy. All right. So here's the zone line. Zeus. Okay. You're going to take the first shot, buddy. Because he's got a lot of evasion. So save your Gauss rifle for the next turn. Unless you want to hit him, it's 80% if we do that. And then, yeah, let's do that. Because then it guaranteed to hit, almost guaranteed to hit, and we knock off some evasion. Make it easier for everybody else. You still missed. At 80%, you still missed. Standing by. <sighs> Killing me, Smalls. Killing me. Banshee. I hear ya. In the water. Oh, no, oh, not you. I'm here. There you go. Goodness gracious. Okay, you have a really good chance to hit. Like, really, really good. So make it count. Cry there we go. And that almost landed in his face, but it got his right shoulder instead. Okay. He's gonna fall down. I think I hit something good. 
Oh, no, not quite yet. Glitch. Glitch redo. What happens if you're in the water? What's your percentage to hit? Pretty good, but not fantastic. So, I don't care about a headshot on this guy. But if you could do it, it'd be great. I just want you to core him out. I wanted her to core him out because then nobody else can see us. They have to come to us. They can't shoot their LRMs from range and do additional damage. So I'm not concerned about headshotting anybody that's not <coughs> a heavy or an assault mech. So everybody else is just killing is good enough for me. We'll take what we can get. We got. Armor breach. We got a a bunch of salvage. So. We're pulling six pieces of salvage out of here. We're gonna pull enough. We'll be fine. Waiting for orders. Okay, Ken, who wants to shoot at this thing first? Yes, Slice, sir. what do you got? Banshee weapons. You need to move a little bit back into the water. Roger that. Okay. Yeah. Having that side of weapons facing you is not a great deal, but you can't hit with that, so all you got are these things. Okay, go. Locked on target. Paladin, just shoot. You don't even have to move. You got 90% to hit. Down to 11. His arm comes off. It's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. Inflicted some heavy damage. It's unsteady. What can I do for Paladin, same thing. Just shoot this guy. You got a Gauss rifle. You got 12 rounds. He'll probably kill him. If he'd have hit him on the other side, he'd have killed him. But now both torsos are done. Glitch. Just shoot. You got AC 20. You're down to six shots. You got a 31 shot for called headshot. There you go. She hit him in the head with the PPC. AC 20 is a little more unruly. Okay, now we got that last two that can come to us. And then we get to go for the head guy himself. Alright. And she still has five rounds. If this if this last guy is like an assault mech and we can uh, and headshot him, that would be pleasing. That would be pleasing to my sensibilities. Just swimming. What can I do for you? Look at all this awesome black and red sexiness. Mm. It's just so great. Are we gonna get to see him? We're gonna have to move to see him. Oh no, it's another trebuchet and we see him. He says, I'm gonna hit your Zeus. Minimal damage on that hit. This guy's like, now my buddy can see you, so here come the LRMs, which is why we've been so diligent about just killing people. Kill them so everybody else cannot see us. Glitch redo. Here comes long range. Oh, no, I thought he was going to shoot us. All right. Slice in the Banshee of Weapons. Don't use your auto cannon. 20, just hit this guy. Actually, we have a lot of resolve here. What can you do? Can you got a 60% chance to hit him and you still got seven rounds? Oh, hitting him in the foot's fine. Waiting for orders. Paladin. He's a Highlander. He's got 80% to hit with this Gauss rifle. I should have I should have named my that my company good. Murder Hornets, man, because that's what's happening right now. These guys are getting. Cause this is I love it when you get all these Gauss rifles and all these big LRMs. It's just. Firing a full <laughs> oh. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Waiting for orders. Glitch is singing it. Uh -huh. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty and deadly tonight. 
Let's just let him come to us. Let's just let him come around the corner and find out what kind of trouble he's really in. Oh no, he's not gonna. He's gonna be a coward. The coward, Robert Ford. Okay. Well, in that case, if he's not gonna show up. You and the Banshee of Weapons, get over here. Let's we'll start moving, guys. Gonna, he's got to decide what to do soon. <laughs> he's like, I'm supposed to be an ambusher. But I don't feel like I'm going to survive this now. Dear mother, all of my friends what got killed. Ball? It is me, all alone now. Against three assault mechs. And a thing that can shoot my eye out. Yes, Commander. Go. Understood. Moving fast. <laughs> as fast as you can in this water. What can I do for you? Now we're going to see him. It's a Centuron. It's one of my favorites. Soon to be dead. Losing lots of armor. Really? You thought that was a lot? Because I didn't think that was a lot. I would like to know where that other guy is, though. Okay, move up. Very good. He's got almost no evasion. You have a really good shot. I like this little, his little dented shield on his arm. It's pretty awesome. And this is a great shot for you. I hear ya. Okay, Paladin. Listen, he shot him in the leg, so I'm gonna ask you to do the same thing. Take his leg out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oopsies. Censure on fall down, go boom. Waiting for orders. On my way. Alright, glitch, what do you got? Hit the other leg. Probably should have tried to headshot him. And that PPC doesn't do enough damage, so. This is oh. Oh, that was a hard night of partying. That was a hard night of partying. I feel hurt, pain. Glitch. Waiting on you, Commander. Can you do it? He's right there. Headshot him. Firing. Hey, good job. She got one. Should have grabbed when you had the chance. Okay, where is it? It's eighty tons and it has jump jets. It's like a banshee or something. What is it? Slice, can you see it for us? What is it? What is this thing? It's a Victor. Oh, it's a Victor. Well, that's nice. What What do you got? You got PPC and that damage? Okay. It's a Victor. Now, if he tries to run, he's in the water. And he's heavy. He's got jump jets, but... I wouldn't get too excited about him running, so. Yeah. It's not the leg. It's a good try, but it's not the leg. You need to get up here where you can shoot with everybody else, so just sprint. Let's go. Glitch your redo. Can you see anything, honey? Not yet. Okay, you will. Now he's going to shoot somebody. He's going to use his jump jets again. I can't imagine that that doesn't... Wow, and it doesn't generate any heat. And he missed her. Oh. Well, guess what? Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. Okay, we don't have anybody else coming, do we? Good. You, my friend. What do you got here? 
The Gauss rifle doesn't have good di see there you go. Good distance here. Go after that leg again. Right there. Locked on with all weapons. Oh. You're not very good at the whole leg thing, are you? Reporting critical hit. Slice. Tell you what. You got really low percentage chance to do this. Hit him in the head. Yeah. That was closer than when I told Ken to shoot at the leg, so. Reporting. Hey. Fall down. That's very nice, Victor. Hmm. Okay, Paladin. Here's the deal. If you can hit him in the head, great. If you can't, take all your LRMs off. If you can hit him in the head, great. If you can't, Firing on target. what's your name? We'll do it next turn. Glitch will do it next turn. Target he's gonna get up. Oh, he thinks he's making a break for it there. Glitch. Waiting on you, Commander. What's your optimum distance for this? 95? Got it. Honey, can you do this for us, please? 31%. On the ground. Commencing alpha strike. He hit his central torso. Well, we'll see how much we get out of that. Did you see that? <laughs> I did. Good job. Good job. That is some busted up max. Okay. We got the pay, and we're going to get a bunch. And Banshee with weapons took a little bit of a beating. All right. What do we get? We got one piece of the victor out of that whole deal and then what do we got for big mix we got pieces of centurions a blackjack that'll finish one so we can sell that there's a trebuchet two pieces of one, one, one piece of a griffin we got the whole centurion we only need two pieces to make a complete one though so we're also going to grab um, two pieces of the trebuchet to complete one of those so that's going to give us Three complete mechs. Which be pretty awesome. And there's an auto cannon 20 plus plus. On second thought. <laughs> on second thought. We're going to remove that blackjack. I'm going to make sure I get this. Maybe they'll give us the blackjack. Maybe they won't. I want that though. It's going to go on somebody. Okay. Ready? Oh, they still gave us a lot of stuff. They didn't give us that blackjack though. Darn it. Oh, they gave us a medium laser. Nice. Okay, this is cool. 15 million worth of parts. Well, that was a long assassination mission. But I feel like doing it the way we did it was smarter than how we were doing it. So this, send the storage. We don't need that. Don't need that Centurion as much as I love them. We just don't need it. Excuse me, the Banshee with the weapons. We'll take a day to repair. All right. Oh, and I wanted to change. What do we have here? This is this is our Zeus, which looks absolutely ravishing. This is our Highlander with our Gauss rifle. I wanted to. I wanted to check paint. Oh, we don't get a different paint job with him, do we? Because, when where do we change paints with guy? Oh, because it says pattern right here. It, you can't get a different pattern with the 732B. It's Star League Defense Force tech, so you can't change it. I see. Well, so that's the way you want to play it. And then the other Highlander, you can. And I don't want that crisscrossy pattern. I want something a little different. Not asymmetrical. Not that. Not really that. Yeah, that's got the claw across the front, doesn't it? So it's either that or... Okay, we'll leave it with that. That's pretty cool. Alright. We're going to work a, a mission on the next episode. We might do that other assassination, assassination, assassination mission on the other episode. We might do it a little different. We remembered we want to use our phoenix if we have one. Don't we have a phoenix? We do right there. He has massive movement, and so uh, we'll take that and the stalker, and we'll see what we can do. It may it, it may not be a good enough group to go out with, but we'll give it a shot and see how it works. 
folks, as always, thanks for watching. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. If you like the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you dig the channel, subscribe. And if you want to be a financial supporter of our small and growing channel, my Patreon is listed in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.